Okay, so at this point, let's talk about uh, the, the the library organization. So you shall have this directory where you have all the source code. Remember that we have a very important library that is PETC. Okay, we're not going to talk about that, but you can go to the website. You have a very good documentation, so please get familiar with, with PETC because all the linear folders are based in that. Uh, on that library, okay, uh, and that library has the potential to be exascale. So please get familiar with all the actions, so all the actions in Petsy. But let's talk about Fluvi, okay? So if you enter here, you will have uh, these directories and this file. So here you have make Fluvio. We already use it for the compilation. This one will clean everything in case that you made some some modifications and you want to do a clean. Uh, a clean compilation and some some basic script here read me file remember the fluvio bash rc this is you should source this library always okay when you open a new terminal and you want to use fluvio and remember to point to the right location of the fluvio directory and pet library okay this is very important so here you are going to have the folder this is the documentation in four format okay so if you click index you will open the documentation this is equivalent to the doc series you are familiar this has been already pre-compiled maybe it's not the latest uh, the latest documentation, okay, depends of the when, when was updated, but you, you can compile it uh, and get the, the latest one. Okay, then you are going to have here examples here. You have a few uh, tutorials depending on the solver that you use. You have different cases and this folder we have the basic meshes. Okay, so something that uh, Fluvio doesn't count with, with, with uh, its own meshing uh, capabilities, so we need to use another format. So for the moment, Fluvio relies in open phone format, and here you will see that you have the cases in open phone, but we only have the meshes. We only need the, the mesh, and then we pass it into Fluvio format. So when we add the first tutorial, we're going, we're going to show you how to do the conversion. Then we have here uh, in Lips the external libraries called automatically compiled. And uh, scripts, some basic scripts. Also, when we do the tutorials, we're going to show you what these scripts are used for. Okay, for instance, this is the grid conversion. Okay, and then source here where we have the bread and butter. Okay, of the solver here, you have the whole source code. Okay, so it's very intuitive. You see here the names, and you will understand what they are doing. So here, boundary conditions, discretization schemes divided by fluxes, diffusive flux, convective flux, mass flux, transient turn. Okay, you go into equations. Okay, by every single equation, Poisson equation, momentum transport. Okay, so it's very intuitive. Okay, so feel free to read it. We try to comment it, but it's still we're, we're, we're improving that documentation, the comments, everything. So let's say for instance, if you want to use the solver and you go here and let's see Poisson solver. Okay, we have seen that this is one of the solvers and this is the first one that we're going to use. Here you have the implementation of the solver. Okay, and see here that it will call new models or routine classes. So you can keep dig in, digging in, keep digging into the documentation, just into the source code to find the classes. So for instance, from here, we can go to equations. Here you go into Poisson. Okay. And here you have the implementation of the Poisson equation. Okay. So here everything documented, it's a little bit some comments, what we're doing. And here, for instance, you can also again go discretization, diffusion fluxes, and so on, so on. You can keep digging, digging and finding to find the information and sometimes you will find explanation how everything is done or or references okay so feel free to read the source code if you modify something remember you need to to recompile uh important about the documentation is very nice the documentation is you are familiar with doxygen is the same you are not familiar just to show you that here everything is compiled automatically okay from the source code here you have all the source file models procedures derived types Okay, so you can explore. So if you click in something, automatically will go there and it will expose all the information, everything that has been commented in the source code to you. But for instance, you go here in programs, you go to Poisson equation and see here that you have these diagrams. This is the inheritance diagram. So you see Poisson, okay, it's passing information to Fluvio setting. So here you, you can keep digging, okay, so you see the Fluvio setting, then it's passing to equations, and here you have the transport equation. So you can see what is happening, 
and then you can see the source code. So this is very handy, okay? So if you want to see all everything that is happening, how the classes and how the information is, is passed between different <clears throat> different classes and models, okay? Here you have calls as well. So you see the Poisson equation is calling initial SI, initializing, then it's calling Poisson equation, Poisson equation, compute gradients, and so on, okay? So every time that you click in something, you go there, get more information, and you can get access to the source code, and then here you get it. And for instance, you want to modify something, here's commented, you can just do your own things and recompile. As you see, the compilation is very fast. So this is the, the basic uh, uh, source code uh, organization. So probably later we're going to prepare a few videos just to show you if you want to develop something, so uh, some new solvers. But it's very straightforward. Everything is ugly oriented. Uh, important that <clears throat> is you again, is you modify something recompile the solver and be careful of what you are doing because you might break the solver. Okay, thank you for your attention and see you next video. Bye.